talk about my buddy Seth Rogen. Come on. I, I adore this guy. I fucking adore this guy. He's a great writer, a great friend, and we can't talk about Seth without talking about the Green Hornet. We just can't, right? Because every person in the world is like, the Green Hornet lost so much money. But that's not true. It didn't lose that much money. I mean, every single person in the world fucking hated it, but it didn't lose that much money. And that's the goal after all, right? To make terrible movies that don't lose that much money. <laughs> Seth's fucking awesome. Um, now James, the main course, the feast de resistance. James loves education. He's always going to school. Did you know that he even went to Yale? Okay, look, I know what you're thinking and it's not true. He got into Yale just like everybody else. He got really, really famous and just kind of asked a person from Yale if he could go there, just like everybody else. And everyone is gonna make fun of James for the Oscars, it's obvious. Everyone was saying, James was dead up there. But I think that was Anne Hathaway's fault. I mean, fuck her for trying, like at all. How dare she attempt in some way to entertain the millions of people trying to escape their lives for a few hours. I commend you, James. James is an outstanding actor, iconic even. He's like our generation's Johnny Depp, if Johnny Depp was a worse actor in Blue Guys. <laughs> you know, you always hear, you know, George Clooney and other big movie stars saying, my philosophy on making movies is one for them and one for me. But not my guy, James. <laughs> not my boy, James. James is a rebel. He has his own philosophy on this. Five for them, one for nobody. 